questions that I ask in my work are really about representations of time and trying to, I suppose, get a taste for what it might be like to experience a four-dimensional existence. I really like that idea that in these multiple worlds you can have these zones where there is a kind of constancy. So between worlds there are these still these areas where, you know, amongst the nearly infinite expanding realms of possible worlds that there might be these sort of solid streams or, or threads that come back and tie places together. On one side of the screen you have the forward journey and on the other side you have the reverse journey. And you can look at that as though the screen is this threshold between the past and the future. So on the one screen you have this view into the future of what's coming towards you and on the other view you see what's where you've been, so you, that's the past. And so the screen becomes like a kind of meniscus of now. And it becomes the hourglass, you know, and the kind of grains of time sort of passing through this aperture. So that, you know, the screen becomes this little, that's the, you know, the little point through which time passes. For many years I've been building these robotic devices. The dolly, I could drive and I could program it to start and stop with a perfectly repeatable ramp. I could program it to go at an exact speed. And I wrote a little kind of interface whereby I could uh, pretty much just measure the, the train tracks and just enter that and then it would tell me how high I had to put the camera and then at what speed the dolly had to go at. With a phantom ride, you're trying to connect this series of, of worlds that are kind of expanding towards you or away from you. And so you don't sort of just cut from one to the other. You see them coming and you see them together at the same point. There's this very awkward moment where the door or the portal that's coming towards you changes from being a, a, a mirror or a, a picture to being real and then suddenly enveloping you. And there's this very kind of, it is a very, unsettling moment when that happens. I hope that an audience member will be sitting on one side of the screen, but they'll be thinking about what's happening on the other side of the screen. It's kind of a, an audience theory of mind. I really hope that that is something that people sort of try to take on.